Hey guys, it's been a while. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, as you guys know, just like always, since the month of April is over, it is time for monthly favorites. <laughs> I'll be talking about my favorite things that happen in the month of April. So, let's get this thing started. Just like usual, we will be starting with the fashion category. In the month of April, the theme for the fashion category was business attire. So for the whole month of April, I pretty much was busy trying to get internship interviews together and I managed to land about three of them in the month of April. If you guys don't know, whenever you're going in for an internship interview, especially when it's for a professional company, you have to dress the part. And luckily, I had already had like different components of professional dress. So I had the proper dress pants, I had a white button up, I also had a black blazer, and I also got a tie from the business closet here on campus that I could put together for the interviews. Not only did I have internship interviews that I was doing, but I also went on a career track trip where we got to meet with a lot of professional employers. So anytime that I went in for an interview, I always had to make sure that I looked the part. A lot of businesses will commend you for wearing a suit just because you went out of your way to look the part, which that kind of puts you in a different level compared to other applicants that chose not to wear a suit. Now for the career track trip, it was mostly just about dressing business casual. So business casual is more like khakis and maybe like a, a nice polo shirt. But for me, I love fashion. So like I try to think outside the box. So I literally went on Pinterest and found like maybe some business casual wear that I guess Yes, people would consider fashionable but would also still stick with like the standards of a professional company but whenever i went to the career track i used one of my sweater vests and put it over a butt white button-up uh, collared shirt and also had like black dress pants i paired with it but there's also a lot of other different ways that you can dress in regards to business casual and i would really recommend looking up the different ways that you can do that so that way you, you can still fit it to your style and still find a way to stand out so that's pretty much it for the fashion category for April. So now let's move on to the next category. In the memorable spots category, there were actually three spots that really stood out to me in the month of April and actually made a lot of great memories there. Starting off with the first one was the Great American Ballpark. The Great American Ballpark was one of the places that we got to tour around the trip to kind of see like what kind of opportunities they offered to students. A lot of students could take an internship there and work with like the team that helped the baseball players, whether it be like marketing, data analytics, or anything like that. But after we toured the stadium itself, we actually went back later on that day to watch a baseball game. Seeing the Cincinnati Reds play, like I'm not a big sports fan, but like as I was watching them play, I actually really got into it. I was like, whoa, like I'm liking this a lot more than I thought I would. During the game, they literally filmed us on camera. Like um, those moments where like they take the camera and just point it to some random person in the audience. Like, everyone that was on the trip literally got put on like the big screen and all of us were just waving and freaking out. We're like, oh my goodness, we're on screen. Like it was just crazy. During the whole game, I was asking for people that didn't know like what was going on. I was like, what's happening? Like, can you tell me what just happened? Like, what does this mean? What does that mean like I was so invested in it to like to try to understand like the rules what was going on and by the end of the game I can say that I understand the basics of baseball a lot better now <laughs> after the game we had a little bit of time before we had to go to bed because we had a really early morning wake-up call the next day I decided to do a little bit more sightseeing since that was the last day that we were gonna be in the city and actually went with one of my friends and the second spot in the memorable spot category was the Cincinnati Bridge so after the game I went with one of my friends that I made on the trip and we went on the Cincinnati Bridge. We took some pretty great pictures and we also got to see the view of the city from like the other side. After we had crossed the bridge, we got to see the side that we would usually be on because that's where our hotel was. And guys, the view was amazing. The lights of the city at night, oh my goodness. I just, I cannot explain it. Like looking across from the other side was, it was, it just blew my mind. I was like, we're always on that side, so we never get to see just how beautiful the city itself is. Getting to just go on the bridge and take a lot of pictures and just kind of like 
see that beautiful view before we left Cincinnati, it was the best way to end the trip itself. The last memorable spot in the month of April was the Baker Arboretum and the Downing Museum. So the reason, even though it sounds like there's two places, it's actually just one because they're both in the same location. But literally the Baker Arboretum and the Downing Museum were so beautiful. Like I remember finding out about the location itself on Google. It's completely free. Anyone can go there. And since so many people are donating to help keep the Arboretum and the Downing Museum up, they're able to keep showing exhibits and keep the Arboretum alive with plants and stuff like that all throughout the year. So I find that really commendable because it's the community that's helping keep the area itself alive. Anytime that I was like feeling down or just kind of needed some time away from my dorm or even off campus, I would always go there and it would just like relax me. Like I could find like some peace of mind by being there, looking at all the different art pieces and looking at all the different plants and literally just hearing nature itself. Like I've never heard birds so clearly like I have in the Baker Arbor Chain. Like, it was just so nice being one with nature for just a little bit amount of time and kind of just kind of getting to sit there and just actually feel like what it's like to relax. Now that we've covered everything in the memorable spots category, let's move on to the next category. In the entertainment category, there was definitely one thing that stood out to me in the month of April, and that was the beginning of TWICE's world tour, Ready To Be. TWICE had toured last year, but I never had the chance to go. So when they had announced earlier this year that they were going on another world tour, I freaked the freak out because I thought it would be my chance to see them here in America because I've only seen them in concert once and that was like four years ago. But sadly, like I'm broke, so I won't be able to see them this year. But just seeing the videos, like all the fan cams of their first performance in Seoul, Korea from the opening of their tour was amazing. It blew my mind how instead of doing unit performances, they decided to do solo performances instead. I was like, whoa, like they've evolved and literally whenever they were performing the backtrack was so low and you could hear them so clearly live and they were all stable and Nyan and Gio the main vocalists of the group they freaking slayed they hit all their ad libs they hit all the high notes and they danced the choreography full on and I was just like what is going on like they they seriously took the time to prepare for this tour and they gave it everything they had like so this is completely unrelated to my favorites in the entertainment category, but I felt like it was very important for me to mention this just because it was it was a very sudden event that happened in the entertainment industry and it affected a lot of K-pop fans, including me, and it was definitely a shock to everybody. But I just want to take this time to acknowledge and recognize the passing of Moonbin from Astro. There was sudden news that he had passed away in his apartment. Um, the police don't really know what the cause of it was there was no physical strain or anything like that that causes death for everybody that loved astro and especially loved moonbin as a performer it was very heartbreaking i remember hearing about it while i was eating at fresh here on campus and i, I was I, I was shocked i i didn't even know i didn't even know what to say i didn't know what to think it was it was just so sudden and when, when this kind of stuff happens, especially in the entertainment industry, and it's something that like nobody really sees coming, it, it, it's so hard to gather words to even describe or even say how like you're feeling just because Moonbin himself, he was such a radiant performer. He always made everybody laugh. He, he, was, he was such a pillar in Astro and he cared about all of his members, all of his brothers, and it was, I just I just can't believe that he's gone and I just 
I want to take a moment of silence to just recognize him and who he is and what he's done and how great of a person he is. I just want to plug into here that if you or anybody that you know is struggling, please reach out and please check up on them. Seeing this kind of stuff happen, especially to someone that you care about, is is hard. And for us to keep talking about mental health and keep putting it in the forefront of how important it is, we have to make sure that we ourselves are also practicing that and also checking up on others. So please make sure that if there's anybody out there that you feel like you need to check up on or that you haven't heard from in a while, just check up on them and make sure that they're okay because I really don't wanna see another person take their own life and have people have to go through the pain of, of losing that person. Now that we've covered the entertainment category, let's move on to the next category. In the music category, there were actually three things that stood out to me in the month of April. The first song that was my favorite in the month of April was ABC by Polyphia featuring Sophia Black. ABC was actually a song that one of my friends actually introduced to me. The first time she played it, I was like, why didn't you tell me about this? I did not know this even existed. Like, why am I just finding out, finding out about this now? The second song that's in the music category is Cherry Red by Hinata featuring Lydia Ganada. So Hinata is an Indonesian artist and Lydia Ganada is a Korean artist and they decided to collab together on this song. The first time I heard Cherry Red was just a snippet on TikTok and literally it was like a 30 second snippet and I fell in love with it guys. I love R&B music and for them to have created like a love song R&B type of music that makes it even better. My final favorite thing in the music category for the month of April is Ive's first album. Ive is a K-pop group that I keep up with from the fourth gen. When they first debuted, I wasn't really, really into their music, but then the more songs they released, I started to get into them more. All the other times they had been putting out EPs, which only had like three or four songs on there. But now they have like a full album with like, I think 12 or 13 songs. And guys, it's insane. Like their first album did not disappoint. It really covered the the different genres that they can handle as a group. My two favorite songs on the album is I Am and Not Your Girl. I Am is a title track song and literally when it came out and I listened to it, I like kept it on repeat for a long time. One thing I like about K-pop is how like cheerful it sounds. I love like happy sounding music. So like Not Your Girl just has those vibes. That's pretty much it for the music category. So let's move on to the next category. So the events category actually came back for the month of April and there's actually two events that happened that really stood out to me. Starting off with the first one was the career trek trip. So initially I wasn't planning on going because I could not afford the price to go on the career trek trip. One of my business advisors I had actually talked to him about it and I told her that I saw the email but I wasn't planning on doing anything with it. She went to one of the other business advisors office and got something together for me and I ended up being able to go on the trip which that was like a blessing in and of itself without me even knowing i got a lot of a lot more out of the trip than i would have realized the career track trip really helped open my mind up about the business world and what business employers are looking for in employees one of the goals that i had whenever i went on the career track trip was to learn how social media itself is being used in a business and how it's building up the brand of a business unfortunately i did not get that insight because a lot of professional businesses are surprisingly not utilizing social media that much it's an outlet that's currently growing within companies, but it's not like the most important type of marketing that they do. Being able to learn about, I guess, other fields in the business industry and what other people are doing, that really opened up my horizons a little. There's a lot more out there than I realized and that really opened my mind up to those kinds of things. And I'm truly grateful that I ended up going on the career track trip. The second event that happened in the month of April that I actually really liked and enjoyed going back to was the Multicultural Fair at ECTC. 
When we were initially creating events to increase student engagement on campus, I actually wanted to have a fair on campus, something that could bring everyone together, that could have different people from different departments tabling at the fair, showing students every single thing that the campus had to offer after doing some like rough edits, and of course catering it more towards the multicultural center itself, we ended up coming up with the multicultural fair. This year, since I had transferred to WKU, I was no longer a work study for the multicultural center. So when they held the fair this year, I had no idea what they were gonna do for it. When I had went back to see what the fair was gonna be like this year, it like blew my mind. First of all, seeing so many students wear code shirts, seeing so many people interact with the different cultures that were present there. Also getting to learn about how diversity actually is important and how it can benefit society and pretty much everyone around the whole world. Getting to have that kind of insight and letting other people have that kind of insight, it just it was just a beautiful day. Seeing so many different performers from different countries perform as well, that was that was so nice and also getting to see everybody again even though it was just a couple days ago i'll never forget me walking in that room and literally every five seconds i'd be waving hi to somebody be like hi 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 like it was just great seeing everybody again and seeing how how much bigger the fair was this year compared to last year so that's pretty much it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed getting to see what my favorites were in the month of april i know it's been a while since i posted anything so this will be the start of my usual posting again you guys will get to see all the different vlogs that i actually filmed even though i wasn't posting so i'm really excited for you guys to see those if you are new here definitely like comment and subscribe i would love for you to join the community that i've built so far and if you guys have any suggestions and what kind of videos you guys want to see me do in the future definitely put it in the comment section down below thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate all the support that you guys give me and i'll see you guys in the next video bye